As much as possible, I like to avoid context switching away from my editor. So if there's something that I can do in Vim instead of leaving Vim, then I like to do it there. And an example of that that I'm going to demonstrate in this video is looking at and searching through man pages. This is another Vim hot tip and trick, and my name is Josh Branshaw. So Vim has the ability to let us view the man pages for a specific command, such as set. Now, if I run that, I'm going to get this error here, not an editor command. And that's because we first have to enable it for our particular Vim configuration. So if I check out the help docs for man.vim, we can see that there is a file type plugin for man.vim that allows us to view user manual pages. So what we need to do is enable this with the runtime command. And what I like to do actually is include this as part of my vimrc file so that I can have it enabled all the time. So I'm going to open up my vimrc and actually have this line already ready to go here. So I'm going to uncomment it and I'm going to then write this and then go ahead and source this file so that the plugin here then gets included as part of the full configuration that I have running here. So with that now sourced, I can go ahead and try that man said command again. Now it looks like sourcing it wasn't enough to enable that plugin. So what if I were just to open a whole nother Vim session? And now if I were to do man said, we can see it pops open the documentation, the man, the man usage pages for this uh, said command. So we can scroll through here, look at the different things. If we knew there was a particular thing, you know, flag that we were looking for, we could like search for it just like we do in any Vim setting, and it would allow us to search through. And so, yeah, there we go, dash E command, and we can see sort of the specifics of the thing we're looking for. Once we're done, we can quit out and just continue our work, and we never left the context of Vim. So I'll open up another example of a man page here. How about for Vim? So we can read through the man pages for Vim. We could uh, search for, um, I don't know, the word editor and see where we can find that showing up. And what I like about using the man command in the Vim context rather than jumping over to a terminal is that I can then you know, make some sort of selection like this, and then I can pop back up and paste it into my Vim setting. And I think that sort of level of integration is really nice when you need it. So yeah, that's kind of my pitch for using the man plugin as part of your Vim setup. I think it's a super handy way to view docs without context switching. So give it a try and let me know what you think.